All right, guys, it's been a rainy week here. Um, and so I have not gotten a lot done on this. I haven't really done anything because I've been pretty busy. Um, but I got three more rollers to put on. And we can go get Jerry and we're gonna, he's gonna help me with this tractor to get the tracks hung back on those kids here. Um, I hope this doesn't take too long, but I guess we're gonna roll over to the yeah, time lapse. Wait. Thanks guys. Probably a lot of you are wondering why I'm doing all this work and replacing all these rollers on this machine. And so I will take you over here and show you exactly why we are taking these off. So here's a new roller. See how thick the outside rim is? Here's one of the ones I took off. So it's completely worn through the backside. It's completely, it's all thin, real thin on the on the roller. See how thick that is? So that's why we were replacing these rollers because they were wore out. This is not a job that I would recommend anybody just taking on and doing themselves. It's not super easy unless you have some mechanical knowledge. Um, so I'm replacing the main rollers on here. I'm not replacing the other rollers because they're not as wore out yet. Um, and so, but this this is a very this is actually. You gotta be very careful when jacking these machines up and getting them up in the air and then taking these tracks off. These tracks are very, very, very heavy. All these components are very heavy. These rollers coming off are kind of light. But they're really not that, that light. Um, you can injure yourself really quick doing this stuff. So um, the problem with the track carrier, I'm gonna let go for now. Um, I'm probably gonna try to find a used either whole track assembly with the axles um, I did look into it. It's very costly to buy that from Cat. So, um, but we will see. I'm gonna. I will. The other tracks. The other track carrier is is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, this side has that little bit of wobble in it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it for now because um, I think it'll be fine. It can't get any worse than what it is. So, um, but I got another roller on. We'll switch back over to the time A lapse. Little one. And I got. Uh, Two more rollers to put on. I already got the one off, and we just got to put them on. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in the old rollers to the new rollers. Alright guys, I just realized that I made a mistake. Can you guys see it? Who are you talking to? I put the sprocket on backwards. So now I get to take it off, spin it around, put it on right. This smooth base is supposed to be against. The, the drive gear.
just to sit outside and kind of get dirty. See the holes for the bolts. That's how it's supposed to be. Because yeah. I put it on back. You always want to do is finger tighten or finger start your bolts. How uh, you cross that up, throw them on the impact, and start running them in there and get some cross threading. And that's that's no fun to fix. So I always try to start my bolts with my fingers before I put the impact on.
All right, guys. I'm gonna go get the neighbor and we're gonna get his tractor over here and we're gonna try to get these tracks hung back on here. Be right back. All right, guys and gals. So, my neighbor came over with the tractor. We got the tracks back on the machine. And now we're gonna pump up the, the tensioner with grease through here. And get the track back on. We'll jack the machine up, get it back on the ground, and we're gonna spread out some gravel. Grease too. The fun of changing a grease tube in a grease can. What? You've never lived until you've done this. Or had one entire tube squirt out all over you. There's a truck eat that? We don't, we don't eat that. No, they don't eat it. Here's a trick, guys. Like this, you don't screw it on. Oh, stop. Move, please. Move. Out the way. You don't screw it all the way on and you let this go. You gotta have enough threads that it doesn't pop off, but that'll get bleed the air out of there. Sorry I didn't get us putting the tracks on guys. We the neighbor came over and helped real quick and I was trying to not take up as much of his time as possible because they had other projects they were working on. tracks are pretty stretched guys I will warn you um, I probably need to replace them there's still a lot of rubber left on them that's why I'm not replacing them yet um, but when I do replace these I will probably replace the front rollers the secondary roller and then this rear one I I just didn't want to spend the money right now at this time I just wanted to get these these are the worst ones I was afraid one was gonna fall apart and they were so badly worn um, so but anyway I'm gonna get this guy down off the jack stands and get her. All right, guys and gals. So we uh, got the skid steer project all kind of complete for now. Uh, we're gonna be doing more work to this thing as we go. So I did purchase this skid steer off of a auction website and I knew it needed some work when I bought it and I got it pretty cheap. Um, I've had to put a little bit of money into it now. Um, we're gonna be doing a full service. So this channel is going to be um, us doing projects around the little homestead that we have here. And also we are getting ready to undertake a big addition onto our home. Um, and so if you wanna join us on the journey of adding on to our house and we're going to be putting in a geothermal system um, for heating and air. Uh, I installed a wood boiler for our heat in the winter time. Um, so we're adding a master suite, we're adding a family room and then a large garage onto the house. Um, so this is just getting in preparation to get ready to build the house. Um, I am going to be doing a good chunk of the work myself. Um, 
So if you guys want to learn a little bit about doing this stuff, um, we will dive into the financials of it as well. Um, so um, I did purchase, we purchased the skid steer. We got some attachments with it. We will be getting some more attachments with it. Um, and I am by no means a professional mechanic, but I do know enough to get myself into trouble. Um, so we will be working on this thing. We'll be working on the house. We'll be doing all kinds of projects. So if you guys want to join us on that journey, please uh, please subscribe, like, and, and join us. Thank you.